The spotlight with border security at the center of the government shutdown. The history of border protection goes back over 150 years, and here in El Paso, we have the nation's only border patrol museum. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap has a look. Here at the Border Patrol Museum, you can see where it all began back in the 1940s when the job of the Border Patrol agents was to prevent alcohol from coming into the country during prohibition. Now it's the so-called immigration crisis that has brought nationwide attention to these agents. They have a, a, a mandate and that's to enforce the immigration laws. And uh, that, that's what they're trained in and that's what they do. Uh, you may have disagreements with what the law is, but the law is the law. As normal as it is for locals here in the borderland to see a border fence and border patrol agents driving down our streets every day, some have never witnessed national security firsthand. We were quite surprised also by a lot of border patrol vehicles driving and stopping, uh, stopping traffic. So it's something we don't see in Europe. I mean, in the European Union, the borders are open. With President Trump's fight for a border wall and immigration issues making national headlines, visitors to the museum can take a moment to see exactly what the daily lives of Border Patrol agents look like. It's very important because uh, most of the times we see them as enemies and they're really not our enemies. They're, they're here to protect us. If it wasn't for them protecting us, then anybody can walk in and, and do whatever they wanted. Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News. And the museum has been here for over 30 years and has free admission. It's funded entirely by donations, but many in the borderland don't know it's here.